Hi, I'm Chris Marshall, field editor for Woodworkers Journal Magazine. In our October 2010 print issue, I'm building this table saw blade organizer and I'm finding it to be a real helpful addition to my shop. It mounts under the side table of my cabinet saw where it's out of the way and it stores up to 12 blades on these pull-out trays. I'm using mine to hold four 10-inch blades and all the pieces to a dado set, so it's real convenient. Well, the process for building the project involves cutting 12 evenly spaced dados for those trays to slide on. And while I could have measured the positions for all of those dados, I used a much easier technique. All you need is a spacer. There's no extra measuring required. Here's how that dadoing process works. You know when you study the drawings for this project that the first dado on the side panels is positioned an inch and an eighth up from the bottom edges of the sides. I've already installed a quarter inch dado set in my saw, raised it to five sixteenths of an inch and locked my fence down to make that first dado cut. And here it is. Now, here's where the spacer technique comes in. I'm going to use a piece of five eighths inch thick scrap. It accounts for the quarter inch width of the dado set plus three eighths of an inch of spacing I want to leave between this dado and all the other dados on the side panels. So I'm going to take my workpiece, slide it back over my dado set, and hold it down securely with my hand. Now I'm not going to unplug the saw for this operation, so I want to make sure and keep my hand clear of the blade at all times. I'm going to take my fence, unlock it, slide it out of the way, and insert my spacer next to my workpiece. Then gently slide my rip fence back without moving my workpiece, lock it down. When I pull my spacer out, I'm all set to cut dado number two. So I'm going to go ahead and make that cut now. There's tray dado number two, indexed three-eighths of an inch away from tray dado number one. To cut tray dado number three, I'm going to repeat the process for number two. Slide the workpiece back over the blade, hold it down securely with your hand, move the rip fence, insert the spacer, slide the rip fence back over, lock it into position, and you're all set to cut number three. So I'll do that now too. There's tray dado number three, spaced three eighths of an inch away from tray dado number two. Cut the other nine dados by repeating the process. There you have it. A quick, easy way to cut 24 evenly spaced dados. These took me about five minutes to cut with that spacer block, and I only measured for the first one. One thing I forgot to mention about this technique, before you reset the rip fence each time, be sure to cut the dado on the other side panel. That way you'll know that all the dados will line up as they should when you put the box together. It's a great technique for this project, but you could adapt it to other projects too, like CD or DVD storage or even other shop fixtures. I hope you'll give it a try. In the meantime, thanks for watching and enjoy your woodworking.